Hi everyone, it's a cold rainy day in Denver today, so what better day to make a video? A while back I got a request to go through some of the pots that I use, and so I thought it'd be fun if I just kind of ran through the main ones that I use. I have more, but these are kind of my staples, so let's get right into it. Okay, so probably the pot I've used the most is my Snow Peak 600. This is a great titanium pot, it's perfect for solo use. Uh, it's got the handles that fold out, and it's just the right size. You can eat out of this, you can use it as a drinking mug, it's not too big for that, it's not too small to eat out of. Basically, it's about the perfect mug. The only thing it doesn't have is a lid, and over the years I've made some different lids out of it, everything from aluminum foil to cutting off the tin, uh, lid of a tin and putting a thumbtack in there for the handle and using that. Most of the time now I just use tin foil on it because it's so light and cheap. So, use this one for a long time. It's seen a lot of uh, a lot of burns, and it's a great overall mug slash pot combination. For ultralight solo use, I really like my backpacking light Firelight 550. This is a great another uh, titanium mug. It's a little bit smaller than the Snow Peak, and it, it handles just about two cups of water. So really, it's only good for boiling. You can eat out of it. It's a little bit small, but it's really good for drinking. I like the indent in the handles here. It's just easier to hold and it does come with a very nice lid. They had some uh, problems with these lids in the first run, but they took care of that, so it fits really well now. So again, that's a great mug if you're just going to be uh, boiling water and having coffee and things like that. Now that I'm married, I don't do as much solo hiking as I used to, so I need something with a little bit more capacity. And what I've been using lately is my MSR Titan kettle. Again, this is a, another great pot I like uh, a lot of the features about it. One of them is an insulated lid handle, which locks upright so that you don't burn your fingers when it flops down and you have to touch the lid to kind of drag it back up. It's got a super, uh, super tight-fitting lid, a nice spout. You can pour water out of easily and drain pasta if you wanted to, and good folding handles. Durable pot, just the right size, and very versatile. A while back, I started experimenting with Heineken cans. I'm sure you've seen Tinny's designs and other, other various designs on them. And they're great pots. Um, this, I think, no, this one was the first one I made. It actually has a fiberglass wick wrapped around it to act as an insulator when you pick it up so you don't burn your fingers. And a little bit of guy line on the lid just to lift that up without burning your fingers. And this one has a, I believe this is a Kevlar three and a half inch wick wrapped around it. Just epoxied it too with JB Weld. They're great. Uh, a lot of people have concerns about durability with them. I really don't use these too much. It was more of an experiment. Every once in a while, I'll take one out. Um, and it, the reason I don't use them is not because of durability. It's just because they're so deep. I don't like trying to eat out of something so deep. And it's just not really, you know, very practical. But durability, I have to say, I've carried these out quite a few times, and there really weren't any issues. So if you ever want to try one, they're a lot of fun, easy to make. You can make one in probably about 10 or 15 minutes. And essentially, they're free. So you can come up with your own bells and whistles that you add to them. So it's kind of a fun project. These are one of my favorites, anti-gravity gear pots. I'm sure a lot of you know about these. And this one is the three cup pot. And I think this was my first lightweight pot that I used for solo use. These are awesome. Uh, they're very durable. They conduct the heat very well. It's got a good lid. And in this one, I've actually dipped it in tool dip to act as an insulator, just like the Titan kettle and that's worked really well. I've used this pot a lot and it shows almost no signs of wear. They're extremely, extremely strong and the price is really, really good so you can't go wrong with one of these. I even made some pot cozies out of Reflectex uh, insulation here too if I want to eat out of it and keep my food warm. It's got the little anti-gravity gear sticker on there. So uh, Anyway, great pots. I've got the three cup one here that I used for uh, solo use and then I've also got the uh, two-quart one. This one is what I use for winter camping. And basically, I just want a pot that's light but has a lot of capacity for melting snow. So typically, I use this one with my MSR XGK white gas stove. And again, this has been a great pot. Only downside of these is that you have to use a pot gripper. So it's a little bit of extra weight. But again, the pots are really well made. And uh, you know, if you're looking for a, for a small pot that's lightweight that uh, doesn't cost $75, Anti-gravity gear is, uh, is a great place to look, so check these out too. 